Hello everyone. So here's the quick tip. So I'm into this very simple scene where you can see lots of uh, different sized cubes. And let's say if you want to add one more, uh, one more primitive, uh, maybe maybe sphere to somewhere maybe on the top of this face. So what you will do, you will simply go to this menu and go to UV sphere. So as you can see that our newly created sphere is, is uh, you know created on this origin point, right? But let's say now if you, you know, want this to be, you know, a uh, position on the top of the space. So what you will do, you will, you know, probably go to left view. Uh, here you can probably, you know, you'll see maybe a hard time to, you know, figure out what, if, where is my actual uh, position because there are like lots of different similar kind of rectangles. So what is the best method to quickly snap that, that sphere to our, to the correct position? First, let me delete this sphere. Now let's select this cube and we'll be utilizing the quick snap menu to place our newly created objects. So, and if you're wondering how I opened this snap menu is the shortcut is shift and S, right? So there you can see a new menu, right? This one. Now simply select this cube, hit tab to go to the edit mode. Now select this top face. Now again, open the snap menu, go to cursor to select it. So what it will do is snap your cursor towards this top face. Now let's create a new uh, UV sphere. Now here you can see that our sphere is created, but it is not somewhere on the top, right? It is somewhere in the middle because if you notice that, you know, this sphere has this origin, you see this dot, let me just slightly move it. Uh, yeah, you can see this dot, right? So this is the origin of the sphere. Now we need to change this origin to somewhere on the bottom, right? Somewhere here. So let me go into the isolate mode first, right? Now, if you see that, okay, this is the origin point. Now we'll select this single vertex, right? Now we, we can again go to our cursor to select it, right? Now, since we have this cursor here, we can simply right click and select origin to 3D cursor. Now this sphere's origin is moved to this, to this point. Now let me exit the isolation mode. Now we'll repeat the same process again, selecting this cube. Now open this snap menu. Now cursor to selected. Now if you select this sphere, hit again the snap menu, selection to cursor. Now it's automatically snapped to this point. Okay. Now let me do one more quick example. So let's say if you want this cube to be to appear on this on this same face, right? Now again, we'll do the same trick. Select this bottom face. Now go to cursor to selected, right? And right click, origin to 3D cursor. Now select this cube, select the top face, cursor to selected. Now again, press the, the same uh, snap menu. Then go to selection to cursor. Now it will snap to that face. This was very basic examples. And now we know how to snap our objects. Uh, using this 3D cursor. Uh, so let's see one of the live example. Let's say if you are working on a scene where we have created a you know window frame and now we have to add a glass in the center, right in the middle of this window. Let me go into the edit mode. Now select the the inside faces. Right like this. So after selecting all the faces, now you have, to see, you have to simply go to select cursor to select it. Now here you can see my cursor is exactly placed in the middle of this, of this window, window frame, right? Now, so now what we need to do is simply add a plane, right? Rotate it, Y90. Now go to the left view, scale it, scale Y, scale Z. And if you want to be more precise, go to the wireframe mode, scale Y, scale Z. So this is glass, which is in the middle of this frame. So here's another scene guys, where this glass, I want to add this on this table. So selecting this glass, now selecting this pillow face. Now aligning to this cursor, right click and origin to 3D cursor. Now selecting this table, again, go to the cursor to select it. Selecting this glass, selection to cursor. So this technique is very helpful um, on the scenes where you know there are like lots of complex elements and 
you don't want to manually go there and uh, align all the different elements manually so have fun experimenting with 3d cursor and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more blender tutorials happy blending